2013-2014. In the spring term, we are attending the course unit Learning Community and Identity in Digital Spaces. As a part of our course, we need to complete a research project investigating the use of a digital tool for learning. Penny is a member of the Photographic Society known as Photosoc at the University of Bristol. As a member, she had the privilege to experience how the Society's Facebook group facilitated the exchange of knowledge and helped everyone to know more about the art of photography. More precisely, the aims of our project are to investigate the students' experience using the Society's Facebook group and identify how the Facebook page influences the construction of community. Our research question for this project were First, how do the members of the Photosoc Society use their Facebook group in order to develop their photographic skills? Two, how does the Facebook group affect the development of community? And finally, is Photosoc Society a community of practice? To begin with, we had to consider the ethical dimensions of our project. Thus, our first action was to inform the Society's president about our research and its aims. When we received the official positive response from the committee, our next step was to inform all members of the Photoshop Facebook group. We posted a message on the group letting them know about the research. We provided them with the opportunity not to be included in the research if they didn't want to. We also informed them that everyone's data will remain anonymous and pseudonyms would be used. We used two methods of data collection. First, we observe for one week the activity of the Facebook page. We transcribe the posts and save them for our analysis. Moreover, we contacted four members of the group and interviewed them. A transcription of the interviews were also used in our analysis. As a framework in our analysis, we use the paper of Wenger about communities of practice. According to him, to describe practice and community, a three-dimensional relation is being used. The three dimensions are mutual engagement, joint enterprise, and shared repertoire. During the span of one week, the group had 18 new posts, 25 comments, and 80-80 likes. Each post had a different kind of activity. To present our data, we used pink arrows to represent people who liked the posts, and blue arrows to represent people commenting on the posts. Some were more popular than the others. The example shows how the members of the Photoshop Society use their Facebook group to exchange knowledge, opinions and views that can lead to everyone's development in the field of photography. 
the interview is pointed out the most useful post for their development as photographers to be. through a variety of sources such as talks, competitions, events, articles, discussions with other members. The interviewees also mentioned about other members that knew a lot about the art of photography. Facebook gives the opportunity to members to express their gratitude towards other members of the society, acting as a tool for something more than just for community maintenance. In comparison with emails as the alternative tool for communication, Facebook seems to give a quick way of communication to members. It's a specific type of community where practice is at the core of its function and relations. Mutual engagement. In this case, Facebook enables people that don't know each other personally to communicate and exchange opinions and advice. Mutual engagement is also about doing things together. In this case, Photosox members use Facebook as a tool to organize their outings. Joint Enterprise Photosox members have a basic shared goal, to become better in the art of photography. The following post is an example of how members negotiate meaning through Facebook. Shared repertoire. include shared words. In this case, an example of a shared word is the word film. In other occasions, the word film would represent different things. However, in this case, the members of the society are aware that it has a specific meaning. Moreover, a community of practice shares tools. Photosoc shares a variety of different tools, such as emails, a website, a Facebook page, or photographic equipment cameras, lenses, and others. Photosox members have their routines of doing things together, having their social meetings every Tuesday night and organizing a talk from professional photographers, usually every Thursday evening. Support seems like a shared concept among the members of the community. Usually, the first stage of entering a community of practice is legitimate peripheral participation. In our case, the likes in the post of the Facebook group could highlight members that want to be more involved in the community. To sum up, our results showed that the members of Photoshop Society use different kinds of posts to develop their skills in the art of photography. Facebook is also a tool to support the community's maintenance. The evidence from the interviews indicated that Facebook encourages people to support each other inside the community. Finally, our analysis revealed evidence that the Photosoc Society of the University of Bristol is actually a community of practice.